good afternoon everyone good to be back uh i think i think uh we we all know how how important this is this is representing your country and uh for me to be here uh, uh i was uh with the group that uh was chosen by the coach and uh, we've, we've been working so hard for the past two years and i think uh now we're heading in the right direction and uh we're just ripping off uh the food from from what we've, we've 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 tried to inject in the group, and I think it's all the experiences and the disappointments. And uh, I think I was just one of the few players that are here in camp now who who was involved in the, in, uh, in the team that didn't make it for Afcon. So I know how it felt, and uh, I'm quite happy now that uh, we we were able to qualify, and uh, the group is just heading in the right direction, and uh, it's very important for us. And I'm just going to touch base on uh, what the captain said. Uh, it's really disappointing for for us South Africans not to really appreciate uh, the kind of work that the coach the coach has done for the past two years. Uh, because uh, as I said, uh, I, I was with the group that didn't qualify for Afcon three years ago, and I remember the hammering. And then now, <clears throat> I think we did fairly good with the new team, and then there was no. Quite of a, of a hype because we've qualified. I think we qualified because we have to qualify it sometimes. But then when we don't qualify, we get the hammer. So we just we just urge you for for the support from from the South Africans so that uh, we know for sure whenever we we have to play home, we we we, we have that, that advantage because we're playing home. We have that kind of a support that you deserve. Taking three questions: three, one, two, three. Okay, four. Sienna, I, I hear the message you and the speaker shares about the fans. But would you guys uh, you know, like to be more in touch with them? Go to the malls, speak to them, do more interviews? Because since you guys have been in camp, we don't hear much from the team. Only the coaster speaks um, through you guys. Would you guys like to be more in touch uh, with us? Yeah. Uh, I think it, it, it was going to be very easy if, if, if we had too much time as a as a national team, but I think even now the coach always complains about the amount of time he has. I don't think anyone has 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 that much time to to go and engage the fan from the outside because of. I think even now uh, other players are, are only joining us on on, on Thursday on, on Wednesday, so there's no much time. But I think it's something that we we, we can try and, and and work on as a team. I think it is, it's it's uh, Romy's uh, department to, to to try and engage the fans. Uh, and I think it, it's it's something that we we can try to do, but again, the 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 challenge is the amount of time that we have as a team. Thanks a lot, and we will try, guys. Turn up like this every time we have a press conference, and we won't be denied access. But drinking of media, why should we have the press conference? Always keep that in mind. But turn up like this, and we have ammunition, or I have at least. That's it. Yeah, on, on something a bit different here. Yeah. Here in the country over the last while, we have had a discussion on overseas, players going overseas and all that stuff. And you are one of the guys who has always you know, left your comfort zone to go to Europe, but you sometimes are not at big leagues and big clubs. Um, what would you say to the local guys here that maybe they must challenge themselves by leaving um, uh, South Africa? Go to Azerbaijan or wherever, and, 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 and try it out there, and also put themselves on that European market in those things. Uh, in uh, I think uh, personally, uh, I always thought that playing uh, your trade outside of your comfort zone or in Europe or wherever, it it, it improves you as a player. Uh, we see now with with Morocco, they have ninety percent of the players playing in Europe. That's why they were able to compete at the at the highest level. So I think uh, it's it, it's very important, but again, I think it's 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 one thing that we need to make sure that we we try and 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 do as South Africans, whereby we import more players, obviously, so that we can try and compete when it comes to the bigger uh, countries, because that's the only thing they have. They have more players playing on 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 on, on in Europe, uh, players playing in the Champions League, in European League. So. I think they have that bit of an advantage of playing uh, competitive football week in week out, whereby when we're playing home, when we have to play against them, uh, we don't have that much experience. Uh, when it comes to the national team, we have 
10% of, of, of the squad that plays at a, at, a, at a competitive league. So it becomes it becomes very difficult. But I, I think personally, it's, it's just one thing that we have to try and improve as a, as a country, get more players uh, competing in the very big leagues. Of, of, of working with him at uh, Coca-Cola Football Stars 2008. So I, I, I know him personally. So he was a very good coach and uh, it's a huge loss for, uh, for South African football. Uh, condolences to his family. Uh, I've been in uh, different groups, uh, as, as, as you mentioned earlier. And, and I think uh, I've mentioned before that this group is special because we have young players and we have a coach who who has experience and uh, everything is just clear. Uh, not that uh, I'm trying to criticize the other groups that, that I've been with, but I think now the fact that I'm even more involved, uh, I think it makes it easy for me to, to judge on uh, the experiences. And uh, I said it before that this group, the way we do things, uh, it's, it's, it's clear. Uh, there are no gray areas. So I think that is why uh, it's much it's much even easier to work with a coach who's simple, who knows what he, what he does, and then his experience speaks for, for itself. I think it's one last question to see before we break into uh, our one on ones. Yeah, Let me stop. Sure. Of course, I have a So, uh, pressure. Lana just was a week ago when we got to see her pinching a temp. You know, when she got to a temp, Elisha, but when he step as the corner as temp is out. Uh, I'm going to M M D Noa, Wa 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 Buklife. Jongo Banami, Ging 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 Buya S. Kote Listo Chisfane Ne 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 Sak. So as we now cool now and Ginga Chabulu got to see the legacy. So as we were there, so as we were there. Thank you, guys. On the note, we can break into the one-on-ones and team.